Hi again, everyone. It's me, Quite, and I just wanted to let you all know how much I genuinely despise all of you. Like you have all just ruined my day beyond immeasurable repair. This is the second time I'm recording this sicko mode video, which I'm going to be absolutely sure not to include any of the song in. That way, if UMG claims it, which they probably will anyways, I will at least know in my heart that they are straight up bullshitting with their claim. But I've tried to record this video once today already, and when I went to edit it, I realized that it didn't record the audio from my actual desktop. And it wasn't a scripted video, so I couldn't just react to the stuff that I was reacting to already again, so I gave up and decided to write a whole fucking script. Now originally I wasn't planning on making this tweet, but in my time of need, I turned to Twitter and said, please send sicko mode memes. And you know what the first three replies to that tweet were? They were all saying no. And if you type that, I hate you so much. Some of you tried to justify it by saying that I was tricking you into giving me content, but there were no tricks this time. I simply asked you straightforward like for sicko mode memes. I made an effort to be upfront with you, and this is what I get. I didn't make a vague abstract comedy tweet. All I asked was for you to send sicko mode memes and you refused. If you just didn't want to, that's fine, but you didn't have to be mean. It seems like you all respond more positively to absolute fucking nonsense that makes no modicum of sense. Like, isn't Pyrocynical the guy who made that sicko mode song? You all disgust me. Like, genuinely, I went into a coma because of this. But other than that mess, I've been good, and I hope you guys have all been having a good day as well. Now, before we dive into the ninth circle of hell, aka the reply sections of my Twitter, please allow me to plug something to you all after having just brutally scolded you and telling you how much I do not like you. Don't worry, it was all jokes. I actually love you guys on a very surface level. Wink? Anyways, I'm really trying to hit 500,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and if you're new and enjoying the video so far, it would be much appreciated if you subscribe. Here's an imaginary kiss as some motivation. There's not more of that coming if you subscribe, but I will still appreciate you doing it anyways. So please, kind sir, give it some consideration. And for some reason, I wrote a smiley face into the script. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to translate that symbol into words or facial expressions for that matter, but I figured I should at least tell you that it's there if I'm not going to be fucked to actually try and show it. So, uh, smiley face, I guess. But back on topic, I almost had to scrounge through the absolute depths of knowyourmeme.com to make some shit for this video. But luckily, there were some good Samaritans among you who gave me something to work with like Gerald here, one of the last good people left in this world who was suspended on Twitter recently. He sent a brief screenshot of a tweet from Kanye saying, fuck that sicko mode. I take this to mean that Kanye West is less than a fan of the 2018 single Sicko Mode by Travis Scott featuring Drake off of Travis's full length LP Astroworld. And that's how you run on a sentence to get a little closer to the 10 minute mark kids. It works every time except for the times when it doesn't, which is more often than I like. Now to get us started, there is one sicko mode meme that I've been seeing more often than I care to admit. It got sent as a reply to my please straight up asking for sicko mode means multiple times. It got sent as a reply to that one tweet where I got confused on whether that purple leafy looking guy was the one who made the song or not. But this meme I'm talking about is one of epic proportions. It takes the logo and color of the Sprite Cranberry can, but instead of Sprite Cranberry, it just says fucking sicko mode and Sprite font slapped all over it. This shit is incredibly cursed, but it's getting sent so much that it's almost not cursed anymore. In fact, overall, I've been seeing a very weird synergy form between the Sprite Cranberry and sicko mode memes. It's almost beautiful in a really terrifying way. It makes my fight or flight response go absolutely nuts. Like some people didn't even bother replying with sicko mode related memes, it was just Sprite Cranberry related memes. It is quite honestly the worst thing I've ever seen, like LeBron James figure from Sprite Cranberry commercial but he's Thanos, and all the different flavors of Sprite come together to complete the Infinity Gauntlet. It has the power with a single snap to wipe out all soft drink product properties that aren't owned by the Coca-Cola company. Come to think of it, if I shove both sicko mode and Sprite Cranberry in the title, could I I get like double the views like double points on Khan Zombies all epic like? Because it would be pretty epic if I could pull that stun off. You know what? I might just do that. Well actually you already know if I've done it because you're watching the video and it's already titled that but yeah that wasn't human language. Anyways back to the ways of the sicko mode and how confusing they are. I would like to pair two specific sicko mode memes next to each other because I think thematically as block themed video games they complement each other very nicely. The first one is a meme that came from at King Anna, not really sure who that is, but whoever she is posted her herself creating a new world on Minecraft because she's been on that block binge for whatever reason recently. But she was looking for a specific game mode, and it's good to hear that Minecraft has finally gotten with the times and changed hardcore mode to sicko mode. I sure do hope that Anna did end up picking that sicko mode. I will forever think less of this apparent stranger if she didn't. But speaking of stranger things than this, let's look at this other block themed sicko mode meme. It's a deep fried Roblox character saying he's going sicko mode. It's pretty basic on the surface, and honestly it's a pretty shit meme overall, but something about the colors and this specific combination of these words in this format enamors me and pokes me to the core so much that I had to make sure you guys saw it as well so that you may even have a small fraction, a 
semblance of the spiritual awakening I received from this image. That being fuck all of one. Here's a meme I'm including only for the sake of Quackity, since he basically got Club Penguin shut down by his lonesome for a second time. Banned. The server has automatically banned you for saying a bad word. You said, bruh, I'm God, I'm trying to go sicko mode on these penguin cheeks. That one was for you, Quackity. Also, fuck you, Quackity, because I was compelled to read this for you. You had no hand in it, but I still hate you for it anyways. As is my way. Getting back to this absolutely atrocious, borderline illegal connection there seems to be between sicko mode and Sprite Cranberry means, somehow this guy, soundless idiot, that is his Twitter name, I'm not insulting him, please don't impale me with a harpoon like I'm Moby Dick, but this guy got away with posting an image captioned, I'm always in sicko mode. That in itself is harmless enough, but then you realize the image is the Hulk sticking his radioactive penis inside of a Sprite Cranberry can. Like, I don't know about you, but I feel like even the Hulk couldn't withstand the cuts that the edges of the fucking drinking hole thing will put on his dick. Totally unrealistic. But the most unrealistic thing about this image is something that's actually happened involving it, and it's the fact that Soundless Idiot got away with posting it without getting suspended. You have my virtual applause, man. But just to be safe, I am going to screen cap his tweet before it's lost to the void forever. If UMG doesn't claim this video, I'm probably gonna get to monetized anyways for this. Fun times! Of course, we have a classic screenshot of a tweet instead of just sending the actual tweet. This time, someone took a screenshot of a tweet from the classic Basking Ball Twitter account. A quality Twitter account. A very good Twitter account. A Twitter account I have wasted too much of my life looking at. But basically, it's this fire-ass outfit right here, going sicko mode. Like, you can't lie, it's flames. He's got the multicolored hoodie shirt thing, I really don't know what to call that. He's also got the jeans, which were $3,000 easy. Rice gum, whoever that is, he ain't got shit on this guy. Somebody took the funny photo of the bull terrier where you can't find his ears that Pyrocynical throws around like a hot potato and put a very appropriate caption on it. A combination of words that I can imagine myself sending to the loudmouse group chat at 3am. Have you heard Sucko Mode by Tractor Scott? Now that it's on my mind, I might actually just stay up till 3am to do that one thing specifically. Here, instead of a meme, we have a true tragic tale from at Nico's Knife Trick. He says, kinda related, but I just went fucking sicko mode on my carpet because I dropped my taco. For you, my brother, I am terrible terribly sorry. You are in all of our hearts and in all of our prayers. But we're still laughing at you because you dropped the taco like that free taco guy from the Vine that one time. It was funny. My boy Potato, or at Taylor2225-56137 for short, dropped us a fat Mario 64 meme of something in the game going insane, or sicko mode as you might say. Yo OMG, oh my god, very considerate of whoever made this meme to clarify the definition of OMG. You do learn something new every day. He going, he going sicko mode. The he going twice is actually really smart beyond an ironic comedic piece kind of meme. Because if you weren't sure if you were supposed to directly flow from he going into sicko mode as the bottom text, then you have the second he going as a guy. Another strange, very abstract meme I'm seeing as of late is cream colored Sonic. I think it originates from him having cream colored legs in something and how that's incorrect because his legs are actually blue. But classic Sonic is having some troubles of his own with what you think might be terminal cancer. But in reality, what the blue blur couldn't outrun was sicko mode because he got sick and lost all his fur. It's kind of fucked up. This next meme is actually very sad. It's no laughing matter, in fact I take no joy in sharing it, but it is something that must be shared. It appears Skipper, the brave penguin that completely eradicated all traces of racism, has been forced to make the ultimate sacrifice in the name of service to his country. These were his parting words. Apologize sincerely, Miss Obama, but recent events have forced me to go. Sicko mode. We haven't heard a word from him since. I think with this recent tragedy in mind, we need to stop with the laughs, hunker down for a moment, and force ourselves to think a little deeper about what we're actually laughing at. Sicko mode was little more than a meme, but such a chaotic force has managed to consume Skipper of all people. The scariest part about it isn't that it's bad, it's that we have no idea what it is. The fear of the unknown is the greatest fear, and that brings us to the question. What is the sicko mode? I have a number of theories, but I think one stands above them all. It has to do with the rampant pairing we see of sicko mode with Sprite Cranberry. It's a coincidence that has been seen too often and for too long to still be considered a coincidence. There has to be a correlation perhaps even a causation between the two. Since Sprite Cranberry is a consumable beverage, I speculate that it might have some hand in triggering the phenomenon we've come to know as the sicko mode. Think about it. When Hulk was in sicko mode, what empty can beverage type was he sticking his dick in? That's correct, a very large Sprite Cranberry can. One which he must have drank before entering the sicko mode. And if this theory is correct, then we must make haste, and there is no time left to waste. 
I must wrap up this video here and run. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe. Like I said earlier, it would be much appreciated if you helped me reach 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you're new and enjoy the video, please do sub. It is much appreciated. If you want to support the channel a little more directly, you can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button and donating $5 a month to get things like custom badges and custom emotes. It's totally optional, but it helps out the channel and it is much appreciated. I have a podcast with Wild Spartans and FPS Diesel called Loud Mouse. We upload two new episodes every week on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and we're up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. If you want to check out my merch, you can go to quiteshop.com. We now have more designs in green. The clothing is epic. You can follow me on Twitter at quite and on Instagram at quite.png. Links to both of those in the description below. And lastly, I also have a Discord server. Link to that in the description as well if you are interested. Anyways, this has been quite, and I don't know if I will see you again, but good luck out there, brothers.